What's up everyone, Six Benny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video, and we are heading into moving day, round number three of the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines South Course. Started off awesome in round number one, nine under par. Slowed down a little bit in round number two, five under, but we are still sitting with a one stroke lead heading into round number three. Now the awesome part about that, the last round, that finish is that we gained four strokes on the last five holes we birdie birdie par birdie birdie to finish out we were going to be three strokes back moving into the saturday round so we need to continue the momentum of what we just did and see if we can stay focused and dominate here in round number three so i do have ai pairing turned on for the final round so we will be paired with the ai again for round number four which will be coming about the next day after you watch this one it'll be live but if you all get some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and you can check the full playlist i have in the description if you're looking for other episodes in this series it could be that the full series is already live so we've got lucky with wins here in california this week we have another round of two to four miles per hour average so here we go ride gamer is rocking his players championship gear from his home there and favorite course, TPC Sawgrass, to see if he can play well like he did in round three. Actually, no, let's not play like we did in round three last tournament. We played really bad. <laughs> let's play the opposite of how we played in round three last tournament. So you can see Ride Gamer is rocking his player's championship gear from his favorite course, TPC Sawgrass, to see if he can spark some momentum going here into moving day. Let's get on out into the course and crush this golf course. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the south course at Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's third round coverage of a San Diego tradition, the Farmers Insurance Open. Moving day here at Torrey Pines on this Saturday, a lot of action to come as we look at the third round leaderboard. We've got a tie up at the top at 14 under par. So here we are, Frank, Southern California, overlooking this magnificent golf course at Torrey Pines. And speaking of magnificent, how about the play of our featured golfer in just the second tournament of their career? The win last week at PGA West in the American Express, and now leading here on moving day at the Farmers. Uh, Rich, you That's know, right. I, I've been known to tell the old dad joke, but, um, you know, Southern California, so many great bands. This player is on tune. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, swinging smoothly. I mean, the whole game is totally on song. This starting toward the right side. Hold. No. Oh, I hold. Opening tee admit, shot doesn't quite hold. find the fairway, but that's the first cut. <laughs> Second shot Got coming lucky. up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. 145 yards left. Pin is in the left back portion of the green. 145. Down the slope. I love the commentary. You love, like they talked about the last tournament, moving day. Like, so good. It's so immersive. I think we go full loft on this nine iron. Down the slope slightly. Going to aim at about 43. Got to play the game the way it's meant to be played. Birdies. What a shot. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. So we have 1.5 degrees above the feet. That means it's right to left at the beginning. But to me, it looks like it's right to left and left to right. I think this is a double breaker. I'm going to go right edge and hit it firm. Good a read is that. It Jerry, is a thanks for putting the, the magnet hole. in the cup. What a caddy. He moves to 15 under. Did you all see that Trey was six under through five? Was he no five under through six holes? Now he's he's having an in, insane day of golf. Got to fly to the left of this bunker. Got to stay focused. When I lost focus in round two, you all saw the bogeys came. Let's stay focused. This round Play our game. Off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Beautiful. 
So after a well-placed drive, this is second from short range. 64 up the slope. 54 degree wedge. I think I'm going to do a little bit of D-loft so we don't pick up too much spin. That's gone, right? That's on me. Wait, that was a pitch shot. That was a this huge mistake. I should be doing full loft. The green, it was never gonna stop. Jerry, where were you on that one? The caddy's supposed to make sure I don't do anything crazy like that. That was a huge mental mistake. It's a pitch shot. I thought I was hitting the spinner. <sighs> I blame Jerry. Oh no, the caddy drama's already starting everybody. I'm going right for this. Get in, get in! Oh, great touch. I'm going to be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. It was so, so good. That finished off for par. You were the second. We'll take a par. We, this will stay. That's a, a big mental error, though, lead. on that. We've made a big mistake. Mental mistakes will cost you in golf so much. You got to think smart and think about every shot. Here we go. Really tough pin location here on moving day. Front left pin. Significant downhill. We keep landing short here. I still think we're going to go 9-iron. 177 full sin. We just want to make sure we hit the green, honestly. With that club, though, we could have attacked it. Hey, we hit the green finally on okay, this golf hole. Okay, aboard, not particularly <laughs> close, but we've seen plenty of balls get pushed into the canyon, so that's not all bad. Steady right to left. Uphill quite a bit. We don't know the exact amount. I'm going to go like two feet up here. We're going to go like 75. Send this ball. Maybe last 72. Steady right to left break. I'm gonna break more than you think. Seventy-five would have been right. No, that was that about was three feet uphill. That hill, and he has left himself a great putt, though. Up. Okay, ball is above the feet. Aim right edge and send it. Beautiful. Nicely done. It is a part. I need to drink more third. water. I've been drinking so much coffee. One shot advantage. New new golfer up there in second place. <laughs> Gotta put it in the fairway. That's the key. I mean honestly though, the, the fairway. To me, is the only easy part of this game on these settings. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a Finding rhythm. the fairway. Hit fairways. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. 132. Shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona. Steven. Iona, what do we got? We've got 132 left to the flag today. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. Favor a wee draw. But Ryan can't hit the draw because he can't hit the diagonal swing plan. He hasn't learned that yet. I'm going to go 138 full loft on the pitching wedge. It's going to come off to the left. The wind's going to pull it back. Theoretically. Theoretically. Too much loft. Still a great shot. Oh man, it looked good initially, but rolled off the green and back into the fairway. That Pull stings. out the Texas wedge. Y'all didn't know this. Jerry was from Texas. I think we talked about this in a previous video. Jerry's from Texas. That's where he learned the Texas wedge. And not Ryan, all he knows about the Texas wedge. And fade off. Let's see if we can thank, thank Jerry or have Jerry teach Ryan a little bit more. I'm going to crush this putt. Yes. Yes. Smart play from That's that for distance. you, Jerry. Just use the putter to make sure you get the line, and this one goes down for a birdie. Cheers, everybody. Whatever you're drinking today, let's go. Two-stroke lead. Let's keep it up. Plenty of golf left, though. Just can't make mistakes. 
We made mistakes in round number two. Got to be focused. Ryan just told Ryan. Ryan just told Ryan. Jerry he just told to Ryan to play his right game. Here as he readies so, his second. He just needs to play his game, stay focused. Jerry gave him the caddy books, and they watched film last night, going over the shots that Ryan should have done better. And at the end of the day, it's paid off. Well, not at the end of the day. At the beginning of the day. So far, it's downhill. 129 yards. Going to go to the finesse. 50-degree wedge. Full backspin. Slow is not ideal. Not the worst thing that could have happened. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance. Really you just never know where it's going to go when you miss like that. That's what I love. Like the simulation aspect on these settings. When you miss your tempo, like, well, you may go way left. You may go way right. You just don't miss. <laughs> well, honestly, on this setting, even if you hit a perfect, sometimes it can go go off. So, Looks like to me it's left to right. I think it's a basically a level putt. It says downhill, but I'm going to play it pretty aggressive. Was left to right. There, but not quite on target. We'll take our par. Hey, I'm never complaining about a par on these settings. Okay. So safely in for his par. And on these greens, on the two. we'll take pars. Pars sometimes feel like birdies. So we still have a two-stroke lead. Hubbard and Naismith there. Naismith? Naismith? Oh. Are we going to hit the bunker again? No shot. Hey, we missed it. <laughs> We almost hit the same spot three rounds in a row. We can attack this. Gonna go approach full loft. Ah, what did we hit though? How much room do we have to work with? 30? Okay. I don't even... I'm gonna do loft and send it. That's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous shot. Excellent second shot here at the par five. Frank, certainly a birdie is well within range. Well, from that distance, that second shot, I mean, that's inside the PGA Tour standard, really. Uh, two super shots. There's right. so much Outside right to left here, especially at the beginning. This is a really difficult putt. It looks up the hill. I'm gonna get pretty aggressive in about 10, let's not do 10 feet, let's do nine feet. Er, er, four? Four. <laughs> hey, we can't talk. We're so focused on the, uh, on the golf, right? Send it in. New is going to break a lot. Wow. It's just hard to play it that much out to the right. Not a bad putt. Great distance. A six footer now for birdie. It's a little bit left to right. Ball's below the feet. Just got to get aggressive. We just saw how much it broke. Almost wow, hit it too hard. Well done. That one rolled in for a what buddy. a putt. And he moves to 17 Cheers, everybody. Par. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. This moving day, we're playing awesome. Let's keep it up. We did not play good moving day in the last tournament. Now, the AI is struggling here in round three. Last moving day, I think we shot over par. Right. In the American Express. They're at, at PGA West, it I believe we shot over rock, par. That was absolutely crushed. We had like six Here bogeys seven, on the front. He is second from off the fairway. Ooh. I think we've just got to try the fade. Well, well, well. At least there's no fans up there by the hole. We should we should be fine. Good thing the swing plane's forgiving. Do you see how much we missed that by? 
Always a good shot in the rough. Cut a break on that a one. For a birdie. So that's a good approach shot. A birdie putt down to Iona. I don't know, what do we got? I want to go left all day long. It's back up the left slope Left all as day well. long. You gave us the read. Thanks for that, Iona. Gonna aim about 45 feet up. It's it's gonna break quite a bit. It's gonna be a slow putt as well. Get in. Get in! Too aggressive. Ah, too aggressive. That's a momentum shifter if we hit that. Oh, we already footer. have the momentum, but still. This is not easy. All is below the feet. Looks like a little bit left to right. Can't get too aggressive because you may send it all the way down. Mm, that's going to leak out to the right and trickle away. Not the right read there. You live and you learn. I did not think it was going to break that much. That's a tough bogey. Couple mistakes this tournament. Not a, not many mistakes, but there's that a bogey. In, it is and let's get it and move on. Seven. It, didn't and we bogey the same hole back down to one. last round? That's what happens when you miss the fairway. Look at look at Lucas. Lucas there, minus 15 through 8. Got a back right pin location. Gonna go with the finesse 7-iron full loft to get pretty aggressive on this line. Hold it! So close. Still a great shot. We can putt this. Oh my. That red slope right away. This thing is going to be almost impossible. We got to be so careful on this one. Most careful putt Ryan's ever hit in his career. That's a good touch, right? Good lag putt. Just gonna Get it close. Take your par. It's just so tough to get up there and really send that one. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And Two under on the front. Let's keep it up. 16. We got one hole left. Par five here to finish here the front nine. We can score well. Just need to birdie. We don't need to do anything crazy. One of the toughest holes on the course for me. That's right. Bounce right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did we send this? Yeah. We send it. Hold. Yes. <laughs> we got a got glimpse of the break here. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. All the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. This is going to be a steady right like to left. Movement to this one. It's for eagle. Jerry. Hey Jerry, I don't think we read the caddy book last night in this one. I do not know this line at all. Three degrees above. Steady right. I'm going to hit this pretty firm. About 30 feet. Hit it on a line. It's going to break a lot. You got to hit it. Yeah, that's a pretty good that was the line. right there. We've seen others leave that putt much shorter than that. Chance now to make the turn with some momentum for birdie. I'll take it. How much more than a tap in there? It Easy is birdie. birdie. Cheers, everybody. A, a lot of coffee this round. I need to probably change side. it to water. Lucas there, two back here, going into the back. Let's drink some water. Honestly, the coffee's at this point, like, basically all gone anyways. All right, we're switching to coffee. If we mess up, well, we blame the water. Get the nervous shooters out. Just send it. Beautiful swing. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. 
I'm focused, the Taylor. Fairway, Iona, this is second. I want to win. Yards left to the flag. Pin in the back right portion of the screen. We found the perfect difficulty settings for like right now. Like this is a blast. Probably my favorite career mode on the on the channel. This one and MLB the Show 23. That's gone, right? Overswing killed us the, with that win. That was just a bad shot. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. We are wondering what, what might have been, but we're also focusing on this shot. Jerry told Ryan to full send this one, so you better believe. Getting aggressive here. Yes! Oh, Jerry! Coming up what a caddy! How about this? Holding Come it from on! Off the green to extend that lead. Lucas with the birdie as well. This is going to be a fight. Cheers, everybody. Wow. I tell you, Jerry might be getting a raise here soon. We don't want to let it go to Jerry's head, though. But wow, he's really being a good caddy. This always throws people off. This is a great time to mention. Keep in mind, Jerry is a real caddy. But this game does not have caddy advice. You, you'd be surprised with all the comments I get on the PGA 2K23 series. Thinking that, like, me talking to the caddy is actually happening. The game's giving me the advice. <laughs> no, that's... It adds to the fun of the series, and yeah, Jerry's real, don't get me wrong, but just so it doesn't, so that way somebody's not thinking that there's, there's no caddy tips in this game. <laughs> there is if you have the aiming arc on, technically. We are sending this. Bounce. Gorgeous. What a swing. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. Ball is below the feet, steady left to right, up the slope. I'm getting ultra aggressive. It's not breaking much. Just kidding. Jerry? <laughs> we can't blame Jerry. Just, just helped us on that last one, but. From about eight feet. Tough to get a view here. It's it's we just saw the line. It's right to left quite a bit actually. Beautiful. Okay, well done. It is Such a, a great tee shot. Just did not and capitalize. At 18 under. Lucas pulls within one here. He's through 12. We're through 11. What a battle. Is that gone? Oh come on, bounce right. Bounce right. Hold in the first cut. Thank you. One of the best swings of the day. Just unlucky, really. That last bounce kicked it into yeah, the first cut. Let's go with that. Unlucky. Second shot now from the best shots of the day. You hear that? 183. Down the slope. Headwind in our face. Gonna go full loft on this finesse shot. Aim about 83 right at it. No, let's go like 80. Yeah, 83. Gonna come off to the left slightly. We are dialed in. You all know what I want? A heartbeat moment. I want a hole out here soon. Strike right there. Right a shot. The of the club face and a good chance for birdie. So ball is above the feet, steady right to left. Gonna get ultra aggressive. How that, does that not go in? How does that thing break that much? Uh, Jerry, add that to the caddy book for the final round, please. I'm studying it all night. <laughs> you better believe Ryan's going to be studying that putt all night. Kel Did you all hear the mic? Kelsey just rolled over full speed into the desk. You might have heard a loud bang on the mic. Apologize for that. <laughs> Kelsey, are you, were you upset about that as well? I get it. He's still watching in your sleep. You don't know Kelsey. Kelsey's my dog. 80 pound dog. A big dog. 
Beautiful. Nicely done as he rolls that in for Good his par. par. And he'll I, stay. I never right. would have played that much break there. We're still up by one. Lucas there right behind us. Hubbard right there as well. I'm not doing power drive. I don't think there's a need to. Get over the bunker, please. Get over the bunker. Thank you. We had some tailwind there, which helped us. That was well, close. There's good bounces. There's bad bounces. That was a good one. We can't get Still there. Than three bills away. He's got to pull out he puts the... Forth his second to the par five. Probably the three hybrid. Three hybrid power approach. I'm going to come off to the right. Gonna, yeah, it's gonna keep rolling back. <laughs> That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. We learned our lesson here last time. We go spinner, full loft, aim at about 54 probably, and just send it. Study so that in the caddy book before the round. This will move to his right for birdie. Ball is below the feet. Steady left to right. It's this should be an easy putt unless last hole happens. Barely mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And he moves to Cheers everybody. Whatever you're drinking, hopefully you're drinking something better than water. Two stroke lead. We're moving on moving day, everybody. Get a good kick. Uh, I was worried that I underswung there, but the fast the helped us. Helped us. Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. Now, note to his second from the fairway. One nineteen to the hole. Swinging it great today. Would not surprise me if he stuck it close. I agree, Noda. We are swinging great. Got to do full loft on this fifty-degree wedge. Aim at about twenty-eight. Let the wind hold it back a little bit, and land it behind the hole. Gap Let it behind and spin it back. A bit too much heat, gonna end up just beyond the flag. Played that exactly like I wanted to, but if that, if uh, we take shot. a little bit of distance Safely off, it's perfect. And a birdie chance. It's still an incredible golf shot. He has a 12 footer here. Yeah, I think we get ultra aggressive. I don't think it's breaking much. I'm gonna go right edge, about seven feet past. Yes. Uh, another rolled in there. Birdie's Come on. 13 and 14. What a fight. And he gets it to 20 under par. Lucas with the birdie as well. It's going to be a battle. If Lucas birdies out, he's going to be right in this. The interesting thing, though, in the final round, we won't be playing with Lucas, right? Because we'll play with the highest playable pro on the leaderboard. Oh, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. I've thought about doing final pairings for Saturday and Sunday. I don't think we're going to do that because it takes about, it's about an hour round with the AI, about 50 minutes to an hour. I haven't decided on that yet, but this one, uphill 153, I think nine iron is going to be too short. I think we have to go to eight iron, full loft, aim for about the 162 mark. No, it's too much. Let's go 160. I don't mean to practice. Did I practice swing? Whoops. It's gone. Yep. So I misread the lie angle, and on top of that, we got the That's the left RNG of the dispersion zone. So got that random left hit, miss tempo. You, you got to hit better, gonna right? Splash this softly onto the green. And we're actually gonna pick this one, full loft, full backspin, and put this one maybe in. I 
I I don't I don't know if I was uh, nervous. Just too tough to control out of the sand. Six point three percent off. Green. It'll run off into the short stuff. Hey, move on, right? Texas wedge. Learn from the legendary caddy, Jerry. Ball is below the feet, getting aggressive, sending this in. No! <laughs> Jerry would have been so proud. Okay, we that's got probably aggressive. About what you'd expect this may come back to bite us. So that's in the acceptable range. We have to make this. We can't double this. Ball is above the feet. Let's look at it both sides. It looks right to left to me. Definitely right to left. Uphill. Can hit be aggressive here. Oh, don't skip it. One time. Drop your one times, everybody. You know what to do. One times help us score better. Boy, hit that a little firm. An actual lip out? Break out and that's First time result. we've seen that. I think second time. An actual lip out. They do exist. I wish they didn't. <laughs> to be honest with you, I kind of wish they did it. Get it, move on. Hey, double happen. You'll okay. see that swing plan? Off there Focus up. Double bogey. He raised back-to-back -back birdies. Shot back. This game will humble you fast. We are... Oh, Lucas is up one. Come on, Ryan. Wake up. Wake up. We're going five iron. Getting aggressive. Landed about two... Going for about 205. Rolling it up onto the green. Sending this one. Fortunately, got to the right of the dispersion zone. Wind couldn't help us. I think we flopped this. We've got to. It's the safest shot in our bag right now. Honestly, I think that's the only shot you should pull out in that situation. The shot has become so popular now, especially out of the shortest rough. It's actually a low-risk shot. Well played. Low-risk shot indeed. Oh. If Sunday pins are like this, we are in trouble, everybody. That thing broke a mile. Like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, that's well done, though. It is for bogey here at the par three. And now he's going to fall a couple of shots off the pace. Okay. I need everybody right now to drop a one time in a comment down below. Drop a one time. Letting me know you're here. Let me know you're cheering me on. We got this. We got to get momentum back. That We just dropped three strokes. We had birdie, birdie, double bogey. Got to stay focused. We're down two. That's a heartbreaker. What I always say, you can't change the past. You can only help shape the future. And this, another fine tee shot. Wipe that smile so on the right. I'm just joking. <laughs> from the fairway. Left, oh, wipe the smile the off, Ryan. And the pin on the As I'm sitting here smiling. 123. Oh, we're zooming. Whoops, let's reset. That, well, we had Jerry run up there. Jerry Jerry ran up there real quest. He, real fast. He, he's fast, everybody. Ryan knows. Jerry knows how to zoom in. He, he runs up there, comes back, shows us a video. Breaks the rule, bends the rules a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna go. We've gotta go pitch. Full loft. Aim it about. Be interesting shot. Gotta finesse this though. I think we've gotta finesse the pitch shot. Not pitch, the finesse the pitching wedge. Aim at about 32.
Bounce to the left, still a good shot. We go. We can make this. I I think we can really make this. Jerry says full send. I agree with Jerry. That thing shot off to the left right away. I don't think we'll be seeing that bad one chip. on the highlight shows tonight, Frank. But all in all, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad, but not great. So. Hey, not bad. <laughs> not bad. How many times? That's like me. No I see and not bad all the time in 17. my challenge videos. And he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead. We need one. We have to birdie this. We may get aggressive and go for an eagle too. But I think the pin three location is tucked close to the water. No shot. Ryan does not have good drive well, accuracy. We've seen people so, still reach the green in two from here, but it's going to be a tough task. No, we can't reach the green in two. And in the bunker. Reach green in two? Like, are we inventing a new shot? I need draws one times. Encourage me. We okay, got this. Good, safe play. We got get it this. Back out into the fairway. Get some distance if you can. And gets it to try and make a good third on this par five. I was so nervous I almost zoomed in there. <laughs> Jerry ran halfway and came back. I mean, we've got to do full D loft so this lob wedge does not roll back into the water. We have to play this pretty safe and aggressive at the same time. Here we go. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Eight feet now for birdie. Jerry has the caddy book out. Making sure we line this upright. Feet is below. Feet are above the ball. Looks like a steady left to right putt. Not a lot of movement though. Putter's been off today. Well, in this round. Yes! Yeah, that's a good Let's go! There. It's a birdie at 18. You keep that fighting. Third straight round in this sixth. One back. I mean, this has been a captivating tournament so far. And our featured golfer, just a shot back heading into Sunday's final round. It's going to be exciting, Frank. It certainly will be, Rich. One of the greatest players of all time, Ben Hogan, used to say, and I don't know why, I would rather be one behind than one in front. I'd rather be one behind than one in front. You know, I like that. I We struggled in the final round of the first week's tournament. So playing from behind here. So let's check the leaderboard. Luke is there 19 under with a one stroke lead. Ryan Gamer is right there. Adam Scott, Mark Hubbard, Tom Hoagie, Robbie Shelton, Bird, and Young. Who will we be playing with though? Let's see. We will be playing with the highest rated pro in the game, which Tony Finau maybe. It could be Finau. Would be epic. Please be Finau. Please be Finau. I might may be missing one of the other pros on there, but we shot a three under on the front. We had three under on the back, but then doubled 15, bogeyed 16 to erase it, but battled back from one under, 33 and a 35. That was a battle. Incredible golf, just made too many mistakes there towards the end the fatigue really started to set in for ryan as a rookie here but all in all a lot of positives you better believe jerry is adding a lot more notes making a new caddy book for ryan to study tonight to not make those same mistakes there towards the back nine towards the end of the back well we have the final round of the farmer's insurance open coming in the next video will likely be posted the next day after this one goes live 
If you're looking for other videos in this series, the easiest place to find them is check the full playlist I've linked in the description. It could be that the full series is live, or maybe the full first season. And Ryan's a multi-sport athlete on the channel. Five career mode series going on. Same, same athlete across all the sports. But thank you for the support. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, and be ready for an electric final round. And who knows, maybe the playable pro AI, the RAI opponent will come out dominating in the final round, just like Patrick Cantlay did in the first week one tournament. That was insane. But I will see you all in the final round. Leave your encouragement and hype for Ryan Gamer. We can do this. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.